Rono. Crazy things are happening. Crazy things are happening. Problem. Problem. Another problem. Name is Asitonka Agri Abba and channel is called Acid Darling because I'm such a damn. <laughs> <laughs> This is good. I love it. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys, Thank you guys so much for clicking once again. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And to all my OGs, you know what to do. Comment down below. Let me know, gang, gang. Crazy things are happening, guys. You're welcome once again to another wedding reaction video. Now on this clip guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on this clip the person that puts that money on her eye is not visible that lady wearing um yellow you can see that she brought it out of a waterproof is it my eye please guys check it you can rewind check it and this is one thing i say yes you want to get your girls you want to get hype girls that are always there for you be vigilant make sure your bridesmaid is vigilant and when you notice something like this something so questionable i think this is a polymer note it should be 20 or 50 naira so much so that they press it on her eye find that note do not allow it to mix with other notes find that note pick it up pick that note up and you don't just go ahead dancing yes i get that it's possible we are getting clips the beauty of getting clips like this is so that you can also capture the face of that person because it doesn't look like somebody that she's so close to for the person to even if it's nothing it's her eye that's makeup is it that you don't have sense let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because this is part of what i've been saying evil hand in your wedding be careful of the evil hand the other one wanted to use something to turn the bride's head and it was photographer that just held her hand that was the video one of my first videos that ever went viral was that one and i told you guys that these things happen like even if she didn't have bad intention you want to wipe her eye makeup and then another thing is why is it one note why is it one note it's almost one rickety note they will spray the rest and maybe if they spray that note they take it back or they easy to clean your makeup or they easy to touch all your face or touch your part like it's looking too much like an instruction we're not overthinking it though. Sometimes trust your instincts. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and let's get to the second clip. <laughs> watches this channel this groom should have been watching each other because this groom took his own to another level um you can see from the clip a guy came like when they were processing and yeah used money to touch his head and the groom removed the money from his head and put it on the floor and now the guy that spread the money proceeded to pick the money from the floor now remember in my previous clip i told you guys that retrieving that money that they used to touch your head is bad that is like they will wipe your head and put the money back in their pocket no 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 no. do you get we have to be careful of that and this groom went off like he went off maybe the guy wanted to go continue spraying others and maybe the way the groom threw it on the floor he didn't like it and he wanted to pick his money back oh i don't even understand oh shoot shoot guys go back and watch it go back and watch the clip the man actually spoke something on the money and spat on it before he puts it on the groom's face go back and watch as i'm telling you guys this story i'm looking at the clip again like go back you can just rewind it because we need to be following this thing look at the guy he brought out the money he, he touched his mouth before he put it on the groom's head never never and i'm telling you the truth people that are like this in the spirit they don't used to catch their head though you have to be aggressive it's not everything you just say hey, maybe he just wanted to kiss the money and put it on my as what as what on other dates as what no 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 guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below this is the best reaction this is the best reaction i didn't even get that on time oh my god it's like the groom the groom has an understanding 
You might not understand, but this guy understands. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and let's get to the next video. Wedding people are here again. Wedding people are here again. It's like people just every time something is trying to kill us, and I've told you to be careful. Fireworks is is in the name. The danger, the hazard is in the name. The bride's bouquet caught fire. Remember the last video I did where I showed you it was pampas grass on a cake that caught fire because they went to do fireworks. Now you're carrying dried pampas grass that. All he needs is a spark. He caught fire on her hand. Her entire dress is flammable. It's not even a laughing matter. Unless this bride is probably high, like high of happiness, or she's just somebody that she laughs when she's anxious. But this is not a laughing matter. Because if from that dress, one leaf that has caught fire detaches and starts burning your gown, it's a different ball game. That gown you're looking at now, that thing is like, um, it's like organza. It's like giving organza vibe that it will just speak and start eating or it will just start burning. Please be careful. Fireworks people, I have said this several times. Make sure it is far from the bride and groom. It's far from her dress. It will still look fine. It's even looking more awkward and too much of a hazard for it to be close together. It doesn't look fine. The beauty is in the distance. Shift it. Some of them, no, no, I'm a wedding planner. I work with them. Some of them are so difficult. They don't listen. And me, you trust me now. Trust me, and the world will share for you. Unless you don't want to work with me, the world will share for you. Uh -huh. So that tomorrow now, tomorrow people, you know, um, sometimes I get I go for weddings and people that know me are in those weddings and then they go like, I, I, I see that is this how you, are? bro? If you see me on the job, you know it's a different person. Uh -huh. I don't take shit to. Uh -huh. So let's just know. But first of all, man, that was something else, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and let's get to the next story. Uh -huh. virgins let's not do it like bro you don't need to kill her mm? you did not need to fall your bride i don't understand is it only me that i seen that there's a problem in this thing legit sis, sis landed on the floor inside keys come on now it's embarrassing it's a like it's not cute there's nothing cute about this i get the ones that some people you know they do the dance you know they put the mouthwash and you know it, they make it fun but this particular one is it's not fun it's not fun let's not do it it's not it's not fun he was just walking slowly and no let's not do this like legit her head would have hit that pillar this is tile this is edge of tile do you know how if her head hits that tile eh is she wearing canvas oh no that's not canvas like why are you doing this she's even trying to come on it's not fair. like the makeup all the makeup is come on that altar bro is made out of tile edges if she went backward and her head had a gash and you killed your wife on the altar what will you say it's not funny people will say oh i see you you like thinking all the edges see this is my job you have to think of all the worst possible scenarios though. take this easy some of you want to overdo it's don't don't overdo <laughs> For this place, they know they overdo things. Uh -huh. Guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's get to the next story.
uh, this particular one did not shock me because I think it's Tanzania. Those of you, my darlings, that are from Tanzania, SA, Kenya, I think this is Tanzania. They, it's it's kind of like a tradition for the groom for the bride to crawl to give like a token. So I think the cake is for her in-law, so she has to crawl to the in-law. So I've seen this particular thing before. I know that some people are like, why would she crawl? Why would she? But it's their culture, I guess. It's their culture and they are still maintaining it. It's not a problem as long as like it's not a problem. But if any of you have like a better explanation, maybe you're from that region, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And guys, as usual, you know when somebody drops a comment that is making sense, give that comment a like so that it comes up um, in the comment section and others get to benefit from that comment also, okay? Guys, let's get to the next story. <laughs> They have come again. Hey, they have come again. Fireworks, people. You people have come again. This is actually somehow because the groom actually ran away and left his wife. Oh man, for himself. Uncle, you just left the altar where you said to love and to cherish, to protect and to do all the things that you promised her. You reach here, you run, leave your wife. Bro, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This particular one, I think uh, it's it's the fact that they didn't know it was there. Okay? Now, if you have an event planner and you are scuppled to, you told the person where you want the fireworks. These things are loud though. Yes, they are loud. Um, doing it at their back as a surprise is not funny. It's not funny. I don't get how it's funny. I don't get how it's nice. Um, sometimes even the ones on the floor, you, you see like people jolting. People can have high BP. It's not funny. I don't know how some of you do your own wedding thing, no. but let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Man, I don't know if this lady will forgive her husband because you ran and left your wife, bro. You ran and left your wife. No, no, come on. It, the marriage has not even reached three hours. You know they run liver. <laughs> okay, we are just kidding. We are just kidding, bro. I am in the wedding industry and I know that this thing can sometimes be scary, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's get to the next story. <laughs> Away. Guys, let me know your thoughts. So what is going on here? Who is this red dress woman and why is she squeezing her face? She's giving elder sister of the groom vibes that probably is not happy. Even prayer mats, even cloth, she's basically just dumping it on the bride. You don't expect the bride to be smiling. Abi, is in my eye? Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the things that she's bringing. Um, I don't know what culture this outfit they are wearing. I'm thinking um, West Africa, the French speaking side, let's say Mali, um, Senegal, all those other areas. Or what do you people think? Mali, Senegal, you know, those um, other areas because the bride is not comfortable. She's not comfortable. And I don't know. I don't know. She looks unhappy. And you, as the lady that is presenting it, it's weird. Is it's she the husband's side chick? Like, it's giving me other. Like, see the way she flung it on the bride. Ah, uh -uh. hey. Is this one tradition? Because people know that in the south we have different traditions of okay, the bride should frown her face until they spray her money to the point where she's okay with it. So I'm not wanting to be too quick with the judgy matter, but the two of them are frowning, and it's not giving me tradition vibes. It's giving me there's a tension. Or, I didn't want you to marry my brother, but since he said it's your, you carry the gift. You know those kind of things. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And let's get to the next story. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I 
It's one thing for you to be high as a groom, man. Eh? It's another thing for you to choose your wife as a tool of your highness. This is not cool. Using the wife's veil and just and it's it's spinning her head because some of those things like we really really have to put it in in. This is wrong. Like this groom obviously is drunk. We've had we've had situations where grooms have thrown up at the altar, drunk, drunk, dead drunk. This one now you chose your wife to exhibit your drunkenness on. Uh uh. Yes, I know you say happy moments, but every other thing like it actually hit her head. Is this man serious? And. Everybody's trying to, you know, by the time they saw that it was affecting, did they even notice? See, 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 they're trying to get his attention. No, 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 no. There's no respect, no respect. Like, this was terrifying for me to watch. He said, no, because if I'm me, I'm event planner, I'll come and approach you. Give me the veil, it's okay. Because the moment the bride starts dancing, it's almost like clockwork. My eye is already on the bride and I go to her back, take out the veil, wrap it on my hand and I send it away. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and let's get to the next one. was on fire jesus christ no no <laughs> i don't i i can't believe that i have done like three videos dedicated to just fireworks and fire in events and i'm still doing it i'm still doing it in fact people were tagging me sending me whatsapp because it's like some of you want to kill yourself in the in the name of celebration I, as an event planner, I am begging you that there are many things that will kill you inside wedding. Please try not to die. Some of you want drone to bring knife so that you use and cut your cake. Please let your ex not hack into that drone and be bringing the knife to your throat. That is why I don't like some of these James Bond things. Marriage is supposed to be simple. You want to wow us. How? Is it a movie premiere? Is this not your home? Are you not? Is it not better that you are alive? I don't understand. Why is it with fireworks? You didn't allow it to finish burning. You are putting your mouth while it's burning. It's not can it's not disco lights. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. At this point, eh, you do not understand that this hair, eh, eh, when they say something is flammable, that's the like you are just walking, you are a walking disaster. Everything we have is hazard. Hazard everywhere. Those of you that do safety courses, you know that there's hazard everywhere. And then you know, in this kind of close proximity, like I cannot, I cannot do. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And yes, 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 we've had a lot of stories to talk about. Let me know which of these stories resonated more with you. We started with the ones of couples being very careful. Your spiritual eyes have to be open. I've done a lot of videos concerning um, how to spot all these spiritual things. If you want those links, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Of course, I'm going to link the video for you to also watch. If you can all go down, down, down. I've done several videos about spotting evil wedding gifts, money that they use on your head and all of that. How you should be careful about that. Um, protect yourself from all this fire, wedding hazards, things to look out for we have done several videos and that's why we bring this kind of wedding reaction content event reaction content for you to learn a thing or two i read your girl acid dali thank you guys so much for watching please check out my other videos and i'll see you in my next one bye guys